Welcome back to another Wildlife Outdoors adventure. This time I'm camping out on the beautiful Illinois River in Oklahoma. It's just me, the wild, and some great fishing ahead. I'll be catching my dinner right here and cooking it up at the campsite. There's something special about living off the land even if it's just for the night. So stick around and let's enjoy the simple pleasures of nature together. Well, as you can tell behind me, there is a lake. This is Lake Ten Killer. I am going to camp out here for the night. I was up in Tahlequah, Oklahoma for work and uh, on my way home, I figured I'd stop and camp and uh, maybe do some fishing. And so tonight I'm gonna try to catch some trout. I'm gonna go below the dam, which is right there. And uh, gonna go below the dam to the tailwaters, try to catch some trout for dinner tonight. And uh, then maybe try to get on some smallmouth or some striper tomorrow in the inflow of this lake and uh, go from there. But here's my campsite. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up and we'll catch y'all later. Hooked into one. Let's see if I can get it landed. I think it's a little rainbow. That's a little brown, I think. A little brown trout. That's funny. Look at this little guy. GoPro died. I got me a nice little rainbow. And this is gonna be dinner tonight. I got my perfectly clean fish here. That's gonna be dinner tonight. I don't have any ice, so I went ahead and cleaned it here on the riverside, and then I'll take it with me. And I'll cook it tonight. Got some butter. Cut a little bit of that off. Throw it in the pan. Fire her up. Nice rainbow trout. 
caught earlier. I'll go ahead and cut some slits in the belly so that way it doesn't curl up on me. A couple slits in the side. Jet boil gets hot. Just throw her in there. That's a nonstick spray. Put her over. Nice and crispy skin. Salt. A bit of pepper. Four. Skin is nice and crispy already. Put some salt on the inside of it. pepper inside of it. That's really all that it takes. Get that tail in there. Fish is slightly too big for the pan, but we'll get it done. I wish y'all could smell this. It smells so fresh. It's already cooked. That's all that it takes. Let it sit there and crisp up a little bit on the edges. Nice and crispy skin. The bones pull right off the meat. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but the fish is already cooked. The tail is nice and crispy. Pull the bones out of it. these fins off, the bones out, the skin peels right off, just pull those bones right off, it's just falling apart. Flip her over and the meat just comes right off the bones, just slides right off the spine. And you just eat it, put the skin on. Mm. A full globe. Bones come right out of the meat. And you'll have a little bit of bones in here, but hardly none at all. I don't know what it is about rainbow trout, but the flavor of it just naturally is so good. The skin has all the nutrients in it that you'd want out of fish, the omegas and antioxidants. Some of these bones are still attached to the meat. Pull those out. Eat the fish. Big chunks like this that come off, there's no bones in there. This is just fresh meat. The skin is nice and crispy, adds a lot of flavor. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Doesn't take long to cook either, especially on these jet boils. Jet boils heat up so fast. The model that I have 
comes with a, uh, it's like a one or two cup can on it and it'll heat a cup of water, I think in less than a minute to boiling. So it's well worth it. And I can convert that to a French press. There's a squirrel jumping in the tree up there. Thought I heard some noise and didn't know what it was. Hmm. Having some good non-stick cookware is key. You just rinse it off. Make sure you get all the dried fish out of there. She's as good as new. As the sun dips low over the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, I'm winding down the day the best way I know how. Taking a dip in the lake and taking a few peaceful casts with my fly rod. The lake is calm, the air is cool, and there's nothing but sounds of nature around me. In these moments, the world feels completely still. No noise, no distractions, just the sound of nature all around me. The only thing breaking the silence is the soft zip of my fly line cutting through the air. There is a peace in this stillness that's hard to find anywhere else. Just me, the lake, and the rhythm of the wild. This is what it's all about. After a quick breakfast of bacon and eggs, I'm packing up camp and getting ready to head up river. Today's mission, chasing some elusive smallmouth buffalo. These fish are tricky, but that's what makes the pursuit so exciting. The river's calling and I'm ready to answer. Let's see what the day has in store. I think it's right there. Tail up, feeding on the bottom. Yeah, that's a carp. I'm gonna change my fly. Oh, I need to be quiet doing this. A couple of them, and I think they're grass carp, but there's also something big out there. Let's see.
whatever that is, this feeding tail up, I'm pretty sure some type of copper, maybe a buffalo, smallmouth buffalo. I don't want to spook it. But it is definitely feeding. Leaving a dust cloud behind it, tail up. Oh, would you look at that? About to get a whole bunch of kayakers coming down. There's a whole another other side of the river where it splits from this island and I'm fishing freaking carp and they're just gonna come right through here. Feeding right there. I just swung my fly right by it. Head is facing though. Okay, it's facing this way. It's feeding right there by the bank. It broke off or damn it. it broke off damn it there was a little knot in my line that sucks it's a good sized fish too I don't know if it's the same fish or not, but it's in the same spot. Possibly the same size right there where that fish I just broke off on was. So, let's try to cast this fly at it. Bigger. I don't think it's the same fish. Look, I 
I got smallmouth buffalo feeding in front of me. And of course, my GoPro dies or it overheats. <sighs> Caught my first smallmouth buffalo. Too bad the GoPro's dead. First smallmouth buffalo. Pretty fish. Let it go. Landing that smallmouth buffalo is a great way to wrap up an incredible trip on the Illinois River. I was lucky enough to land some great fish, but honestly, it's the experience that will stick with me the most. This place, with its quiet beauty and thrill of the chase, will always hold a special place in my memory. Until next time, keep exploring and never lose that connection to the wild.